um, person who is speaking is in your screen. I get um, there's a reason why I want you to do this. It's super, super yeah. important. Yeah. Um, okay. That you are able to make that. that that you click on their video. Okay, breath in right now, ready? You hover over their video and then three you should see three dots. Can I see that? You click on it and then there should be pinned video. And then oh, can I see that? And then to okay, unpin so it in the top left. All right. All right, Miss Ryland. Okay. We are ready. So, I am researching. I researched about Queen Hatshepsut, and I will take some questions at the end because when I did some practice, I know some people had questions. So here, Queen Hatshepsut was a great, and powerful pharaoh. She helped her people greatly. Hatshepsut is a person from the past. I bet I could prove to you that she was the best pharaoh in ancient Egypt. I will, ta I will tell you things about her, why she is great, about her burial, fun facts, and connections. Hatshepsut is something you should continue researching if you like this, because there is so much more out there. I hope you like my article. Here are a few things about Hatshepsut, such as where she lived, when she was born, when she died, etc. Hatshepsut was a female, even though she dressed like a man. She was a pharaoh from ancient Egypt. She was born in 1408 BC, which was a long time from now. She died when she was... She died 1458 BC. Hatshepsut's animal was a ram, and her god was a man. I think that's how you pronounce it. Hatshepsut's father died when she was 12. She was the rightful heir to the throne. From there, Hatshepsut married her half-brother Thutmose II, and they had a daughter, but never the son. He died after 15 years of being pharaoh. Her stepson, Thutmose III, was supposed to take over Egypt, but he was too young, so Hatshepsut took over while he was two while he was little. When Hatshepsut no, when Thutmose the third became old enough, Hatshepsut decided that she would not let her hard work get ruined, so she decided to stay acting Pharaoh. He got mad and tried to kill her multiple times but never succeeded. Although Hatshepsut was a great ruler. She had struggles, but also helped her people greatly. One thing she did to help her people was open a trade route to a, lit, to a rich land and brought riches to her people. Also, food, resources, etc. She built many memorials and statues and kept Egypt alive. Her main struggle was that her stepson was trying to kill her, but also she had some people not like her because she was a woman, so she dressed like a man. Those are some struggles that Hatshepsut had. A struggle that we have today about Hatshepsut is that we think her stepson destroyed all of her statues and monuments and her tomb. So we have to look hard to find information about Hatshepsut. Those are some of her accomplishments and struggles. Hatshepsut eventually died after a 20-year reign. So, let me just let you know, in this paragraph, I will be doing some stuff inside my model. So, you watch inside my model. Hatshepsut eventually died after a 20-year reign. So, when she was 50, we think she was killed by cancer, but we're not exactly sure. We found her mummy in her nurse's tomb, guessing that Thutmose the third moved it. Her tomb um, was in front of Pyramid Giza in the museum um, in her honor. Her son stole most of her stuff and got past the booby traps that were used to keep robbers out. He erased all signs and memories of her after her death. So if you want to visit her tomb, 
Go to Al Haram Nazlet of Sanam, Saman, Al Giza Desert, Giza Government, Egypt. It's impressive how great her twin was. That shows she must have been a great ruler. Here are some fun facts I like to call Egypt style. Look at the first letter of each sentence and you will understand. So, if you want to do that, you might understand why it's called Egypt style. Endings of women's names were typ typically had T's, but Hatshepsut took that off of her name. Great! Hatshepsut actually had bone cancer and diabetes. Yes! Hatshepsut actually married her half-brother. Often royalty in Egypt does that to keep royal blood alive. Pharaoh Hatshepsut built many structures during her reign. Thutmose died after a 15-year reign, so that left Hatshepsut in charge at the age of 30. Here are a few connections that Hatshepsut helped us with today. Hatshepsut was the first woman ruler and was a great ruler, so that affected women, so they are believed in more. She also built things such as monuments, temples, etc. and to help, to help Egypt's religion. And that helped us learn more about the past today. She gave Egypt many riches and increased economy and trades. Those are a few connections to today. I hope that convinced you that Hatshepsut was a great and powerful pharaoh. She brought riches to her people, and Hatshepsut had a, has a huge memorial. And she also has some really interesting facts about her. That is a little bit about Hatshepsut. And if you like this, there is so much more. So I encourage you to research more about Hatshepsut. The end. <laughs> um, that was awesome, girl. Does anyone have any questions? Anybody have questions about Queen Hatshepsut? I love how your your box was interactive and you were moving things and opening up your sarcophagus. That was really very creative there, Miss Ryland. Thanks. I Good did job. I did have help with that. My uncle is actually the one who is here today. Um, we worked on this together.